again, welcome to my channel. It's great having you here, my real estate channel. And, you know, can you tell us you are, you're a mortgage advisor I so, am. Uh, and you're going to tell us about this awesome new zero down program, which I'm excited about to share uh, alongside with you because um, a lot of folks out there that are struggling to get a down payment can take advantage of this great program. So I want to run through a scenario with you. I think it's the best way um, to, yes, let's to showcase, it. yeah, to showcase the power of of this of this uh, program. Who this can benefit in terms of buying a home? You know, let's say it's Lopez, the younger version of Lopez that is brand new and young and vibrant, and he's wanting to purchase a home. If they need a credit score, what minimum credit score do they need for this zero down program? So we can go as low as 580. Okay. Um, you know, obviously the lowest, the, 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 the FICO is the rate, it is going to be higher. So I don't want to set the expectations to all of them that if you guys see some low rates in the market, keep mm -hmm. in mind, you have to have an average uh, FICO score. So if you are in the 500 or okay. 580, your rate it will be higher than right. what they're offering. Um, but you're still going to be able to qualify for a loan. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, so 580 is the minimum. 580 is the minimum. And let's say that a younger version of me, uh, a younger version of Lopez uh, had a, a good credit score. I mean, to get a good interest rate, what interest rate would that be? Right now, um, fortunately, the, the rates are higher than um, we'll say a month ago or even a couple of weeks ago. Um, mm. And it's going to stay like that for a few months, if you know, at least until next year. Um, so I will say with a very high credit score, let's say on the 800s, um, your credit, your rate will be probably about 5%. Okay. And to get that 5%, uh, I've been told that there really isn't a difference between a 740 and an 800. Is that true? Uh, seven, well, I would say it's probably like about a half a point. So if you have a 740, you're probably looking more at a 5.5% rate. Okay. Realistically, because if, if then we're talking about 800, then um, maybe you get that half point off. But mm -hmm. most people, yeah, it's it's difficult to get an 800 perfect. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't so, see it that often. Okay. Um, so you're looking at, you're looking at maybe if, if the the younger version of me, I did not have a 740 credit score right after college, but uh, let's say that I built up enough, you know, that I had a 740 credit score. And if let's say uh, I was looking for uh, a home in the Santa Clarita area, and I wanted to start a family, three mm -hmm. bedroom, two bath, Say right now they're at seven hundred thousand dollars on average, maybe a, a good decent sized home, no H you know no HOA no townhomes but a real you know home with a front yard and a backyard. Um, how much down payment? About how much down payment would I need for say a seven hundred thousand dollar home? The minimum down payment for FHA is 3.5%. So it will be $24,500 for a $700,000 home, um, which, you know, that's where the program, the program, program comes in. And that will be where you will be saving if you were to do one of these programs with 100% down payment financing. Okay. How much income wise would you need would younger version lopez need in order to afford a seven hundred thousand dollar home how much so, income would he have to bring in uh and let's say i got married really young 
and uh, my spouse was bringing in, you know, the same amount. Okay, so let's say in the household overall, mm -hmm. um, keep in mind this this uh, income that I'm gonna give you. It's in the case that the younger you <laughs> didn't have okay. any debts, we no just debts. To, no debts at all. So just to pay okay. the mortgage only. Okay. Um. So if we look at a mortgage of say seven hundred thousand dollars with a down payment of three point five percent down, then your loan amount will be six hundred seventy five thousand and five hundred. I calculated a pay a uh, rate of about five point seven five. You know, um, that's just kind of my example, based on the fact that the person will probably be more on the seven twenty credit score. And uh, so the the taxes in the taxes are of the house will be seven hundred twenty nine dollars and seventeen cents. The, there's a uh, house insurance, which I calculate about $100 per month. And we have the mortgage insurance, which all FHA loans have. So it's, it's, it will be a must to have. Um, it's for $178.48. So the total payment will be $5,318.68 if you want to buy a house of $700,000. With that said, okay. um your yearly income will have to be about $115,000. So to answer your question, the person will have to make about $115,000 per year. The person, the couple, you know, whoever wants to qualify for the loan. As many as far as we can put in the loan. Okay. To qualify for, for that dream house. All right. If you split $115,000, that's... So maybe about, you know, it's not that bad. It's about $57,000 for say. Per person. Yeah. So I guess per, per I'm making 57,000. My, you know, my future wife is making, is going to make 57,000. So we both have about 115,000. What would, uh, what would you need to bring to closing? So I'm assuming that the I'm assuming that the down payment is taken care of. It's it's added to the loan. Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah. So the way it works. So you know, I explain a little bit. Um. It's it's like a silent second, same as the Kahalpa. Mm -hmm. Um. So you have two options. You know, we have the the FHA 100 and the FHA 100 plus. Which one would you do? It all depends on how math works. The second one, the FHA 100 plus, mm -hmm. probably that one. Why? I know it's going to sound scary be because there's there's a higher interest on the second. But if you put it in numbers and you do your math, you're going to be paying a lot less on that one that you're probably going to pay adding a, a, a higher rate on, on your first, which a higher balance, than adding a higher rate on the second with the lower rate on the first. In terms of affordability and lower monthly payments, is there a difference between the two, or would you yes. be doing the same? The same. Yes. So that the FHA one hundred, which it gives you the option of uh, having zero percent interest rate for the first ten years on the second, that mm -hmm. one the rate is gonna on the first is gonna be higher than if you choose the second option. So the second option, the FHA one hundred plus. Mm -hmm. The twenty four thousand five hundred, you will divide that within ten years of payment. The bank will calculate uh, the pay, the minimum payment, which probably is going to be around about one hundred and eighty dollars, um, and it's just going to add it to your first. So instead of you having a balance uh, that you kind of roll over every year for ten years, you pay it off within ten years, okay. and then you have an interest on that. So, but you know, if you ask me, I probably go with the second option. So, um, so if we go with the FHA 100 plus, if that seems to be the better option, you said that it is better in terms of affordability monthly. Yes. Uh, yeah, you will be saving on the rate on the first loan. Your mm -hmm. monthly payment, um, you you know, again, it might be the same or as equal as the first option, but at least you're paying off the second. So after 10 years, you don't have a balance anymore. So your monthly payment will drop that amount. By about and, and again, you still have the option of um, 
refinancing or selling it and you just pay the difference that is left on the balance. Okay. If you do that. So this works really well for say younger Lopez with a, you know, getting married and having a family and definitely going to be there for the next 10 years. Yes. Yes. So it, but there is a, a limit with, with this, uh, with this program, you have to stay there 10 years or how many years do you have to no, stay? No, you don't. You can sell it. Uh, you know, you can refinance it, sell it, do whatever you want with it. It, it follows all the FHA guidelines. The only difference is that you're going to have to pay back that loan. So before they send you, you have to pay. The, so the difference is you have to pay back that loan. Yes. And yeah. I want to, I want to clarify something too. Like, even if you do have the money, you can always choose this program. If you maybe let's say, you know, buying a house after you buy a house, you have a lot of expenses, you know, mm -hmm. moving, you want to buy new things, new furniture, you know, there, there are other expenses. So okay. if, I you know, know, you can always have it. That's not telling me like, if you don't, if you don't actually have the money, even if you do have the money, you can still take advantage of this program. Okay. I was going to ask you about the closing costs in terms of what money should younger Lopez bring to this home that he wants to buy. So the down payment is taken care of about how much, and you can give me a, you know, a window of a number. Uh, would so I will say realistically, um, if you buy in a $700,000 home, you're probably going to have to bring in about 15, 16,000. That's in closing costs altogether. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was really helpful. That was really helpful. I think for a consumer, the only thing I'm worried about is that uh, is that monthly payment. You, you definitely think have to make over a hundred thousand dollars to be able to purchase something as um, a house, three bedrooms. Right. Um. Can you run for me? a scenario with and i just want to know the monthly payment of say it was say it's a six hundred thousand dollar house uh what would be the monthly affordability payments for a six hundred thousand dollar house so we're gonna use the same rate we that we use with the seven hundred thousand which it was five point seven five Yep, so 5.75, and then the person has a 720 credit score. Yeah, and then and same insurance. Made, same insurance. The taxes are going to change because obviously, you know, they go by the purchase, by the sales price. So it's going to be $625 per month. It'll be, it'll be cheaper. And the mortgage insurance, it will go down as well. You know, because it's calculated, it's a percentage of the loan amount. So right. it's going to be $410.13. So the monthly payment, uh, the total monthly payment for a six hundred thousand dollar home, we're looking at five thousand. I'm sorry, four thousand five hundred seventy three dollars and fifteen cents. Okay. So you'll be saving about uh, what eight hundred bucks. Uh, yeah, about eight hundred dollars. About eight hundred dollars. <laughs> Yeah, fantastic. No, this is this is all really great information. And the fact that you can get into a home uh for you know less than twenty one thousand dollars, that's really good. That's really beneficial. Uh and it was I think it's a really smart for this zero down program, you know, it's for for them to be able to put that loan and you know into that into the into the mortgage loan the down payment into the mortgage loan which is called a, a second as you said uh, yeah we, we call it the the, sec, the silent second the silent second <laughs> is what you call it yeah it's good to know that you know the rates are still i mean if you have great you know a good credit score it's still below six percent so this is fantastic. And um, definitely... at least for FHA, at least for FHA, because I want to keep in mind, you know, anything that is conventional, it's already, oh, you know, we're already past the 6%. So I've been seeing a lot of other zero down programs that are starting to pop up left and right because they, you know, we, we really want your business and we want to make the home, you, you know, experience affordable. I think, you know, I think this is, this is going to be good. So 
Uh, yeah, I really think so. I'm I'm actually very happy for this program. I think it's going to help a lot of people. We don't, you know, these type of programs, we don't know if it's something that is going to be temporary or permanent. Mm-hmm. Um, the banks decide that. But as long as right now it's active, it's going, it's working, people is liking it. So take advantage. Yeah. Before, absolutely, absolutely. Before they decide to close and remove it or whatever they decide. What brokerage company do you work with? Who do you work Franklin for? Express. Franklin <laughs> Express. That's right. So yeah. uh, if you'd like to get in contact with Marianne, please reach out to me and I will definitely make sure to, to have you connect. And we need to find out where you are. And sometimes that by itself is a good thing to find out where you are. And then, you know, make a decision on, do we need to erase a little bit more debt? Do we need to raise our credit score 15 more points? It's good to know where you are. Yes. That way, you know where you need to be. A lot of home, a lot of future home buyers, they don't know where they are and they don't know what they need. And so uh, Mm -hmm. Marianne is the person to go to and talk numbers about so thank you for being here i appreciate you so much thank you much. for having me and, and then you know i want to add to what you just said that's true most people they don't know where they are they think they don't qualify sometimes they do and it's surprising and yeah. sometimes they don't but we are a broker where you know we we not only let you go with a sad face you know we make sure that you are in the right path we will be with you through the entire time if you need sometimes it takes a year Sometimes it takes two years, you know, because of the taxes. But I can promise you, if you follow our lead, you will get to that house. Absolutely, absolutely. It's, yeah, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And if it takes one, two, three, four, five years, at least you have a plan. And that's what's important. And we'll be on on you, you know, making sure that that plan is coming (laughs) that you guys are saving that money or doing whatever it takes to get to that house. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for your time and look forward to seeing you in the office and thank you again so much. I appreciate yeah, thank your time. You. Thank you so much for having me. I really, it, this was fun. <laughs> awesome. All right. Yeah. I'm going to have to send you a gift or something. We'll, we'll see. Oh what. my gosh. As long <laughs> as it's not alcohol. <laughs> A lot of people tell me I'm cool. <laughs> okay, no alcohol then. All right, take care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Jose.